One step away from being king, Prince William surely has his feet in the right spot. But what will happen to Princess Charlotte when her father does ascend to the higher chair? Of course, it can't be all bad, but we're about to find out, and hopefully we're on the right track too. Queen Elizabeth II has been the UK's head of state since 1952 and has ruled longer than any other British monarch. She's even the head of state for 15 other countries. And believe it or not, the 94-year-old monarch and her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, have four children, eight grandchildren, and nine great-grandchildren. Prince Philip passed away this year, April 9th, at 99 years old. The title of king can only go to one. First, becoming a royal is simple. You can be married into the royal family and given a title once it's sealed. However, to become king, you must be born into the royal family. Prince Charles is first in line to the throne with his eldest son, Prince William in second, and William's eldest son, Prince George, in third. By this, it's safe to say they're in good standing. But what about Princess Charlotte? When it comes to names and titles, the royal family doesn't fuss or hesitate. Many of the closest members to the throne will go through a few names in their life, so it's nothing to get crazy about. Take Prince William as an example. He started off as Prince William, then moved on to being the Duke of Cambridge, and will inevitably become the Duke of Cornwall and Prince of Wales when his father becomes king. So of course, when Prince William becomes king, thus begins the change of title for his children. Princess Charlotte, the first daughter, is fourth in line to the throne. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's only daughter is currently styled as Her Royal Highness Princess Charlotte of Cambridge, but the five-year-old could be given another title in the future. If her older brother Prince George has children after he's crowned, they'll precede Princess Charlotte in the line of succession. So what will Princess Charlotte be called? In an interview with Express UK, an internationally recognized expert on British and European royalty was asked for guidance on what titles would be bestowed to the children. Marlene Koning is a former news librarian for CNN, NPR, Daily Telegraph, and has authored many books for and of the royal family. She explained to Express UK how Prince William would affect his children's title stylings and pointed out the difference between George's future versus that of his siblings. The first day Charles is king, the children will be Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis of Cornwall and Cambridge. Once he elevates, he is then Prince of Wales. The children will become George of Wales, Charlotte of Wales, and Louis of Wales. Then when their dad is king, George will become Duke of Cornwall, and then of course, Prince of Wales. It can be assumed that Charlotte and Louis may have no titles in the coming future if this is how the line of succession works. But titles won't hold this beautiful girl down. No way! Because what the five-year-old princess may not know is that she made history the moment her younger brother, Prince Louis, was born. Here's why. For many years, the standards ruling the line of the British throne favored male heirs, Boys automatically move ahead of female siblings, even if the girls are older. Queen Victoria's first child was a daughter, Princess Victoria, born in 1840. But her second child, a son, born in 1841, immediately became her heir and was later crowned King Edward VII. Fortunately, as societal thinking about gender has changed over the next few decades, the old rules were seen as biased, even if it was hereditary. So eventually, several European monarchies, such as Sweden and Denmark, reformed their rules of succession to apply in order of birth. In 2011, during a meeting of the heads of governments of the Commonwealth, the legislation to end gender bias in the order of succession was fully agreed to. And some outdated rules, like some of the rules on succession, just don't make sense to us anymore. The legislation was introduced when the Duchess of Cambridge was pregnant with her first child and ensured that the baby, whether a boy or girl, would be William's heir. The couple had a son first, Prince George, in 2013, and then a daughter, Princess Charlotte, in 2015. Princess Charlotte now maintains her place as fourth in line behind her grandfather, father, and older brother. Prince Louis's birth has not knocked her out of the order, so it is possible she could still become queen one day and have her title changed or returned. Or Princess Charlotte could soon have her title changed to Princess Royal. Princess Royal is one of the most prominent titles in the royal family and is reserved for the eldest daughter of the monarch. The title not only honors a royal's lineage, but also recognizes involvement in the family business. 
At the moment, Princess Anne, who is named the hardest working member of the royal family for 2018, holds the Princess Royal title. She's a full-time working royal who has simultaneously been the picture of a modern, independently-minded member of the family. There have only been seven Princesses Royal in British royal history. So if Princess Anne is still using the title when Prince William becomes king, Charlotte will not be able to take it. However, gender equal succession could mean that Charlotte will be granted the chance in the future and be a senior working member of the royal family. After finishing her education, Charlotte will most likely do charity work and perform her royal duties. We are sure that then, and even now, Princess Charlotte will be amazing. So far, she's distinguished herself in normal ways, such as being a smart, spirited child with a thousand-watt smile. She's a devoted big sister who dotes on her little brother, Prince Louis, whom she happily shared her official third birthday portrait with in 2018. She's even a charmer with a spot-on royal wave. Her parents adoringly call her Lottie, and she loves olives and the color pink. In her free time, she takes ballet at Thomas's Battersea School, as does Prince George, and the two siblings get along well. Physically speaking, too, how could we forget? Charlotte looked much like the Queen as a little girl, and she too may be a natural-born leader like Granny. With Prince Charles, Prince William, and Prince George I, second, and third in line to succeed her, Britain stands to have a series of kings in the future. But amazingly, the updated law of succession means that a future princess could one day be born to be Queen. It has long been a tradition in the royal family that nannies raise the kids before sending them off to boarding school. Public appearances that include royal children are very prim and proper, without showing any kind of affection. But that all changed with Princess Diana and her two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. William and Kate have continued Diana's modern approach, and a royal expert, Ingrid Seward, believes this could change royal tradition in other ways, too. William and Kate want their children to be happy, which means they might not send their kids to boarding school, and wait to see how the children's personalities develop and take that into consideration with their roles and growth. So, going by how Princess Charlotte has been raised these last five years and the women in her family she has to look up to, we're imagining a combination of family devotion, realness, service, and spunkiness, with some exciting revolutionizing as the eldest daughter of the future King of England thrown into the mix as well. There will always be heightened interest in what Charlotte is up to, as Kate and William's only daughter, and everything from her fashion to her education and extracurriculars to her eventual choice of husband will get the once and twice, and even third, review. But the possibilities are endless, especially considering how she now has modernity and birth order on her side, as the first girl in her illustrious family who will keep her place in the line of succession over her younger brother, the role of future heir will be whatever she makes of it. She's already standing out as much as a five-year-old surrounded by future kings can, with her sociable and relatable personality. I mean, come on, we've all had at least one tantrum at the airport. We are sure that Princess Charlotte will be just fine, but let us know in the comments section what you think. Will she really become a historical princess royal? Or something even greater? We're itching to find out. Don't forget to hit that like button and click subscribe to get more access to videos from us here at The Things Celebrity.